Hey there, friends. I'm the only Sir Cracker, and, uh, well, it's February. It's, let's see, I want to say this is the 13th of February. And, uh, there's been not a whole lot going on, but I want to show you what it looks like, uh, the garden, that is. So, uh, you see I got plants growing in the window. Um, but, uh, I'll give you a quick overview <coughs> of my yard. So I've got, of course, buckets and storage, you know, and then, well, there's nothing over there. And then in these blue buckets, <coughs> I have laid some asparagus uh, berries and then put just a little bit of grass clippings on top of it. Um, if they take, they take. If they, they don't, they don't. But here's another thing. <coughs> don't let people come to your house that smoke. They're rude. Yeah, rude. I I don't like smokers. I'm sorry. It's one of those things that, you know, I'm an ex-smoker now of almost seven, sixteen, seventeen years. <clears throat> October of '99 is when I stopped smoking, and uh, it's frustrating. I, I can't stand it. It's just a nasty habit. So, um, <laughs> gotta burn some wood. That's the plan. Uh, okay, so, um, a lot's kind of happened and a lot's kind of not happened. Um, the, uh, the yard back here, not a whole lot has happened, except, uh, for everything is in winter state, which means everything is pretty much asleep and dead. Uh, none of my cabbages this year, or this last year, gave me anything of value. These look like they're all dead, especially the red ones. So I don't think I'll do cabbages uh, in these small containers ever again. I think they need more space. I think that's what the problem is. They're, they're probably root-bound, or they were root-bound. <clears throat> but I want to take you over here to the tree. This is my apple tree. And if you remember, I put it in a 55-gallon uh, drum, put holes all the way around it. And then I also put a 5-gallon um, uh, bucket upside down in the bottom of it um, to uh, have it uh, not only air pruning but to uh, to have it a, uh, a self-watering container <clears throat> so something's different yep I cut it uh, last month I took the center of it out so now I've got four individual branches actually if you really look at it there's only three. There's this one, this one, and then this one. But this one here is cut and split up. So I got four individual stems off of it. And they're all fairly in the middle. Um, and I've got, <clears throat> from what I can tell, a lot of fruit growth. Like <clears throat> these little ones here, those don't produce fruit. These are for leaves. Um, but when you get the big swollen ones, like these, these are all going to produce fruit. So, and it goes all the way back. Look, look. More fruit, more fruit. I mean, it's just loaded. Loaded! <clears throat> so, what I did is I, I hacked the middle out. Then this year, I'm going to let... Um, I'm going to let these grow, and then this next January, I'm going to cut them back uh, just as high as I can reach, and then that's it, and um, prune them and trim them uh, so that I can, from the ground, reach every part of the tree. That is the goal. Um, it's kind of the Back to Eden gardening style uh, with Paul, um, the way he trims his trees. The only difference is this one is in a barrel and um, as long as I have to rent a home I will continue to put them in barrels and it's kind of an experiment for me um, on the large scale because I'm really really curious to find out if it will grow properly and produce a lot of fruit in a barrel like this I think it will but there's not a whole lot of way to tell um, as you can see too I've got wood chips um, that I put on top. They're kind of frozen still. 
wood chips on top. That again is the back to Eden garden kind of uh, cover your soil kind of thing. I've always kind of covered the soil. Um, I did it with grass clippings in the past because that's what I've had. <clears throat> but uh, I will be doing it with wood chips from, from now on. Uh, also with the strawberries, I covered my strawberry plants uh, with wood chips too, just a thin layer of wood chips. And so Paul says that the, the young healthy plants will push their way through. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it works. I would like <clears throat> I'd like to see that. That would be really awesome. Um, and then down here, I don't know if you remember, I planted some spinach. Look at this. My spinach plants are still alive. Even though it's been frosty and nasty and gross, they're still alive. So maybe they'll, they'll grow. Um, and then this is where the rhubarb was. And I have yanked and ripped all the rhubarb out. Um, and disposed of it. It's just the rhubarb was very very old. Um, it's <clears throat> all from my childhood. Um, it used to uh, be at my mom and dad's house when I was a kid, and and uh, so I took I took some of those. But uh, if I continue rhubarb, I will just go get some young babies um, <clears throat> and go that route. So. Yeah, they didn't do all that good last year. Oh, looks like uh, I've got some onions back there that are still growing. <clears throat> I don't know if you can make that out. Of course, all of my purple cabbage is gone. But these two, one, this one here and that one there, they, they look okay, the cabbage. And then this is the onion. And I'm really disappointed with those onions because I had some really nice onions. And of course, I waited too long. What happened was we um, we had a really hot summer, and I couldn't get out here and water as much as I wanted to. <coughs> and so they started to die off. And instead of pulling them like I should have because they were dying off, I said, "No, it's all right." And next thing you know, they all started splitting and and regrowing again when the weather started getting cooler. So all of them have two shoots on them. So, yeah, live and let learn, learn and let live, whatever. So, all right, well, <clears throat> that's just kind of, an, a, kind of a quick update. I'm sure I bored the crud out of you. I intend to bore the crud out of everybody. But, uh, hey, if you, uh, if you like my stuff here, uh, you can always go check me out over there on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, go check me out on Facebook at uh, Sir Cracker's Garden. We've got a group going on over there where I give updates on what's going on all the time. So, uh, all right. Well, I'll see you all later. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye for now.